Goes without without need for any introduction, but let's go for it. Who do we have here today? Mayor Francis Suarez, City of Miami. All right, so we're 4 Geeks Academy. We're a software engineering boot camp, and we were just wondering if the mayor had any advice for my, our Miami-based graduates. My advice is, you know, the, the economy is disrupting rapidly. And I think uh, we're in a knowledge-based phase of the world where, you know, the, the digital products that are going to be created are really what's going to transform things. So coding, um, learning how AI interacts with coding is going to be essential to success in the future. And just AI generally um, is going to revolutionize how we are productive. And we have to create the kind of pathways that are going to allow people to invent, create, and also to learn how to use AI. Yeah, I hear you. So as mayor, you have to think at pretty, at 10,000 feet, let's call it, right? You have to think about scope. You're not focused on key details, or maybe you are. You have people on your staff who focus on the details for you, but you have to stay focused on the overall vision for Miami. Talk a little bit about the overall vision for the future of tech in Miami so our students can understand the landscape moving forward. I like to say that, you know, I'm not just the chief executive officer of the city. I feel like I'm the chief ecosystem officer of the city. So, well, Yeah, can you elaborate on that? Of course. So a city is an ecosystem, right? It's not just a government, right? It's, a, right? it's not just, we don't just police their streets. We, we have to make sure that everyone, to the extent that we can and we can influence it, is prosperous and can succeed. And so to do that, you have to touch things that are not necessarily in the orbit of government. Like, for example, hiring for no government that I'm aware of yeah. has ever done that, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, the collaborations that we've done with, with the college, whether it's uh, the scholarship fund for STEM, uh, kids that are getting STEM educated, education and our Pell Grant recipients. Um, I was up there on the board. Um, the, the tech high school that we did. So we, we have tried to leverage opportunities and leverage resources to try to create as much opportunity as we possibly can. So that's that's the vision. The vision is a Miami for everyone. A Miami where everyone can be successful. Uh, getting to that vision is a lot of work. And in a, in a like I said before, in a hyper um, disruptive environment where you think you're ahead and then all of a sudden your competitor jumps ahead and does something, but that's 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 the landscape, right? That's a landscape in the private sector too. And we should never be afraid of that. We should embrace that, understand that that's just the way it is, and that we've got to lean into it and, and try to succeed despite you know tough times yeah. sometimes. A city as a startup, right? That's the attitude. Absolutely. I think that's a great perspective, great way to put it. Because startups are lean, they're flexible, and they're adaptable. And I think that's how you have to be yeah, as an ecosystem. We're getting the nod, you gotta wrap, you gotta wrap final remarks. I'm, I'm just really proud. I was telling my staff that when, when I come to the, this is the fifth hiring fair that we've done consecutively. And it's, it's just really inspiring for me because I, I love to see young people. I love to see the companies that we put together. I love to see how we put this thing together to, to try to connect people and try to make them successful. To me, it's, it's the highest and most noble thing that we can do as a government to go beyond ourselves and to try to, 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 to help people have careers and, and pathways of prosperity. Mayor, thank you so much. You got it, brother. Nice to Take meet you. Take it easy.